Welcome to another episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. And I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official trailer for a movie that, sh like many that are coming out this year, shouldn't come out last year. And as, of course, the official trailer, like I just already said, for Spiral from the Book of Saw. This, yeah. of course, we already were in it. It's been about over a year since we did the last trailer reaction. Yeah. Yeah, it's been over a year since we did the actual last trailer. Way over, pretty much. It's about it's actually around the same time. No, around the same time they they dropped the so, their, their first teaser trailer at the time. Now we're getting a full fi official trailer. For so it. this is fully being written and produced by Chris Rock. Yeah, because he came he, uh, in our last reaction. We did bring up that he did approach and, uh, the studio and wanted to kind of like you know continue the franchise but give it a bit of a newer a newer like ambiance and a, you know, a, a new take but still kind of continuing the legacy of like you know what so what, you know the franchise was doing so this technically pure concerns that saw nine though it's it's hard to keep counting more of these saw films yeah um, I think this is the ninth film in the series after their state but the basic premise is that chris rock is a detective investigating the basic chris chris rock is the, is a detective investigating the jigsaw killer um, or so-called somebody who's following the same we were yeah. it's not entirely it wasn't entirely made clear in the first teaser trailer all we know is that it was something about a, a, a new group called spiral but they're stating how it feels like uh they're following a book that was written that pretty much follows the same thing that jigsaw was doing in a way yes because i guess a minor spoiler for the last legit saw movie which was called Saw the Final Chapter, which is hilarious in horror film standards, uh, is that it does look like there's a group of followers of Jigsaw, yeah, of his they, beliefs. Of his beliefs and stuff like that, and it looks like he may have just found, it looks like he stumbles upon the group that's still continuing this, you know, and, and in a way that's like, we like how it's kind of like, it says Spiral, but then it says from the yeah, book because of Saw. I guess, like, Meyer, I guess spoiler for the original films is like, he does eventually die. The original Oh, no, we all know that. The original Everybody Jigsaw that, yeah. Killer does eventually die, but the event, everything he's done afterwards is the events of his followers. Yeah, and it kind of kind of continued that was when they did that when he died after he died, and we saw one of the one of his victims were kind of still working it pretty much from the very first film. So it kind of it kind of teased going people are still continuing his legacy. So enough said, enough talking. So let's dive into this for the full official trailer from Spiral from the Book of Saw. So here we go. And thank God to me. Tear this city apart. 
other things. When was the last time you saw your father? Shit. Uh, you know what sucks? I was kind of hoping they just use somebody that does a voice modular and sound like the original guy. Because yeah. that, no, okay, let me explain. Because I honestly, in my opinion, everybody has their horror franchise they like. Their franchise, my horror franchise was Saul because how ridiculous it got over the, the films, how ludicrous it got. But what made it was when you heard him say he wants to play a game. I guess so. I guess, I, like, I guess I was kind of hoping, done that. I was kind of hoping somebody did that. Because they know, okay, so we don't know if this is a sequel. Yeah, it is a legit sequel, but they're now finding that this is the first time we're diving into a full-on group or like a cult pretty much or something like that that's falling yeah, into Yeah, the final chapter film revealed that Carrie Yules, one of the survivors of the first film's uh, yeah. game, was actually one of the people leading the followers. Yeah, it's uh, some of the people, that, that, that was a bigger twist too, because they did that in another film where, uh, I think the film before it or something like that, uh, where it was a, another, uh, it was another girl, but I think from the, I think it was either the sequel or from, the, it was, no, it was from the sequel. That's where it was from. It was from the sequel, the second one, where it was like they're continuing it with her. They did that first, and then that's when they did, they decided, okay, let's do it from the very first film, or he does it this time. He's He's oh, yeah. in this pack now. Yeah, so it's like, it's like it's start, people are starting to, you know, are liking the way he works pretty much. Yeah, but the, of course the problem was with his second follower, his original second follower, in which he took things, because the thing about Jigsaw's game, about well, Jigsaw's games, I think his name was Ben or David. I forgot. But the thing about Jigsaw's original games was, yes, they made he made you sacrifice something, Yeah, but... He helped, there was teaching, not only teaching a lesson, but he found some way where he could escape. The second follower didn't do that. No, he yeah, took yeah. things to the extreme, sacrificing more than he needed to, as well as not really teaching him a lesson. Yeah. And that's what original Jigsaw's motives were. So we interesting to see if they, they, continue, they continue it to the T of how he does things originally. You know, because it feels like that's what it could be because everything's pointing to him. So and whenever they do something like that, it's always because something from his past or something. For me, personally, I think it has to do with his family. Because if his father is also involved, it has to do because since his father looked like he was a retired cop. Yeah. So it looks like pretty much maybe something his you know related to his family that they've done in the past or they've done with the cops or some state shady type of stuff. The, and he doesn't know about. Yeah. It. The other thing is the other issue is it's it's very rare to see Chris Rock in a serious role. And I love it. Don't get me wrong. I love when you see. Like uh, comedians stuff like that dive into serious roles, especially when they're the ones right, helping right, put this together. But honestly, it's rare for Chris Rock. And no, I know that, but like I said, we get that from other comedians as well. I'm saying, yeah. I'm stating, is that when we get those serious moments, stuff like that, and you're like, wow, they can really act, or they can really do, good, do a good story, or something like that. I mean, perfect example is Jordan Peele. You know, when he's able to write, he's, he's able to deliver. But that's what, that, that, that's catcher that's behind the scenes. Well, I know that that's behind the scenes, but still, like I said, he's also worked on he's also I mean, that's what i'm saying that chris rock is also working on this but like you said he but he's also diving in behind uh, who's in front of the camera as well in a serious role yeah you know and like i said it's it's great to see stuff like this where it's like they take a good interest because they're like they love the franchise but they want to continue it but they want to add their own little twist to it but still keeping it alive so it's really well, for the most part it's, it's going to see where where that aspect goes but looking forward to the film of course i got to see the other one that came out with jigsaw and see where that went but other than that folks if you need a channel you can hit the like button if you want to talk to us more about stuff like this comment down below if you want to share us around share it around and if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about what saw is up to or very use his followers up to next hit the subscribe button down below hit that bell icon as well let us know what you guys thought of this trail overall if you're a huge uh, fan of the, uh, the Saw franchise you know do you have any favorites that stood out to, to you the, the most pretty much all, all of them um, and what do you guys thoughts on this one uh, the way with the route they're going with this are you excited does it look interesting does it look really look cool that they're diving into more of like the cult following of of uh of Saul pretty much, you know, do you like how they're taking it? I mean, especially with uh, Chris Rock behind it this time around. I mean, let us know in the comments down below. Put down what you thought of our reaction overall, but most importantly, thank you for watching. So, 
Till next time, I'm Chris. I'm Christopher. And this has been a very puzzle-filled episode of SRB. See ya. Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out our previous reactions, or any one of our other SRB shows, check out one of our playlists down below. If you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Stardust at Super React Bros.